So I want to show you how to find a particular solution when the right hand side is a polynomial uh, function. So here the, um, the polynomial is a t squared and uh, we need to find an ansatz to find the particular solution. If we just try t squared the problem is that uh, the left hand side will give us a t and a constant term and uh, we'll end up, if you, if you try it, we'll end up with uh, three equations and only one un unknown overdetermined uh, system of equations. So when the right hand side is a polynomial we have to make sure that we carry enough lower order terms in the polynomial to match the left hand side. Here when it's t squared we have to carry a t squared, a t, and a constant term. Okay? Uh, and then we'll see that we end up with three equations and three unknowns. So if we substitute it into the left hand side, the second derivative will just give us a 2a. The first derivative um, will give us a 2a t plus a b and then the function itself minus 2 a t squared plus b t plus c equals t squared. Okay. Um, and we can uh, collect the terms to write this uh, as a polynomial. So we have a uh, minus 2a t squared term from here. The t terms we have a 2a minus 2b plus 2a minus 2b times t. And the constant term we have a 2a plus b minus 2c. 2a plus b minus 2c as the constant term. Okay, and that's equal to t squared. Now this is supposed to be true for all time, so we can use a well-known result that I'll call a theorem, okay, that one can derive from calculus, that if you have some polynomial a0 plus a1 t plus a2 t squared plus dot dot dot, equals b0 plus b1t plus b2t squared plus dot 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 and t is a variable meaning it can vary a i and b i are parameters then uh, by substituting in t equals 0 we see immediately that a naught equals b naught. If we take the derivative with respect to t, right, then uh, we get a and substitute in t equals 0, then we get a1 equals b1. The second derivative tells us a2 equals b2, and so on. So the coefficients are the same, right, on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So that means here in our equation we have a t squared, a t, a constant. We have a 1 times t squared. We have a 0 times t and we have a 0 constant on the right hand side. Right? So uh, you don't need to write that but you see that it's there. So that gives us our system minus 2a has to be 1. 2a minus 2b has to be 0. And 2a plus b minus 2c has to be 0. And that is our three equations and three unknowns which we can solve. a equals minus a half. Uh, b equals a, so b is also equal to minus a half, 
and uh, C, pulling the 2C on the right, dividing by 2, is 2A plus B, B equals A, so it's 3A divided by 2, A is minus a half, so it's minus 3 quarters. And uh, that gives us then our x, right? So our particular solution is a times t squared minus 1 half t squared plus b times t minus 1 half times t plus c minus 3 quarters. So that's the particular solution to this differential equation.